So last December, one of our friends came over and he brought fresh sweet potatoes from his garden. Later on, we cooked those sweet potatoes and they were so delicious. And I wanted to grow exactly that sweet potato because most of the times when I get sweet potatoes from the market, they don't taste that great. So I didn't finish all those sweet potatoes. I saved some that I will grow them in spring. And uh, I have been waiting uh, that, you know, they will grow some roots. I have been keeping an eye on them. Then in the beginning of July, I started to notice that they are growing some slips. So I put them in water and sure enough, they have developed roots. So now I'm going to separate out the slips from them and then plant them. Hi, this is Ruchi and let's plant some sweet potato slips today. So here are my four sweet potatoes. So, you know, a few days ago, most of them were like this when I started to notice that they are getting sprouts as you can see here and I immediately put them in water in a bowl you know like this and they are all four of them in the same bowl but they are all in different stages like this one is just beginning to sprout if you look at this one you can see a lot of slips growing and when I put them in water, they started to grow these roots. You can see fresh roots. So this is the second stage. And then this is again, you know, the third stage where this one has, you know, look at this, you know, so many plants or slips growing from here that I can separate them out and all these roots in last one week as soon as I put them in water they started to grow roots and uh, this has only one big slip growing and there are a lot of small ones coming up so we could just like this slip we could just break it off from here it has roots and we can plant it and it looks so healthy just few days ago all these were like this and within few days you know after I put them in water they developed all these roots and the leaves have opened up and um, when I put them in water I put them near windowsill where it was getting some filtered sunlight so that you know all these leaves they start to grow and then now for last couple of days I have put it outside because I'm going to plant it in this raised bed and I wanted to acclimatize them because suddenly they will come out of the house and they'll get a shock of the climate. So then uh, I have acclimatized them in filtered sunlight. They were under a tree so they were getting you know some sun and some shade and they look healthy to me. So now we can separate out these slips and plant them. And of course, for these two, we will wait because you can see the slips are still developing and this one is just sprouting. So, but these two are ready. So let's separate the slips and then plant them. So this one has one big one just going to break it apart you know it was pretty straightforward so this goes back in because it will grow more slips and this is ready and this is going to be a little more complicated because there are so many of them growing but let's take this big one and let's try to just separate it yep that's good I'm just trying the, the big ones three four 
five. I think these are small. I leave them. So we have five of these ready so we can plant them and in the planter I have uh, you know good potting soil mix it should be loose soil because you know it's a root vegetable so uh, you know if the soil is too clay the roots will not grow the tubers will not grow that well so you want it uh, loose and uh, obviously you need good irrigation system so that is there so okay let's start from this side so in this corner I put it here then a little bit you don't want to put it too much on the side because then you know it will hit the wall of the container pretty soon you want to keep it in the middle then another one here and then one more here and then one more here and as more of them grow I'm going to put maybe three more here so we already acclimatized our slips so they are fine in this weather uh, you want to transplant them in the evening so that they get 12 hours of respite before the sun comes up and then maybe for the first couple of days you want to cover it up so that it doesn't get too harsh a sun maybe you want to open it up in the morning but cover it in the afternoon so I'm going to water it thoroughly now and then I'll keep you posted. It's been three, four days and I planted more slips. So now I have total eight slips in here and they are doing fine. Initially I had covered them up for a day so that they don't get the hot sun, the afternoon sun. But now they are out in the open and we'll just wait. One more week has passed and you can see the plants have started growing well. I have also put mulch in here to control the soil temperature because at night sometimes it gets cold. In the daytime it's pretty hot. So when you add mulch then it maintains the soil temperature. And also it's good um, because it also increases microbe activity. So now we have to just wait and see how they grow. But if you have a chance and if you have some sweet potato slips, maybe you want to consider planting them uh, in loose soil and just let it grow by itself. And five months later, when we dig it up, we'll see how it grows. So I hope this video was useful to you. If you have any questions, leave me a comment and I'll try to answer as soon as possible. If you like this video, press the like button, subscribe to our channel and don't forget to share it with your friends and family. And I'll see you next time. Happy gardening. Bye.